Hello, in this tutorial, I want to have a look at how to select objects in the outliner and then how to actually uh, parent and group objects and understand what that means uh, in terms of how they behave. So first of all, let's start with the outliner. So uh, the outliner is, uh, you can access the outliner by clicking on this icon here. So if I click on here, that pulls up the outliner. Now the outliner is simply a list of objects in your scene. So um, as I select objects in, in here, you can see they get selected in the outliner. And as I select them in the outliner, they get selected in our scene. So it's just an alternative way of selecting our objects rather than just selecting them through the workspace. And when we're dealing with particularly fiddly uh, scenes with lots of objects, this might be a useful idea. Now a useful aid for this is actually to name your objects and you should get into the convention of naming your objects and organizing your scenes again you can do this through the pipeline so if I just want to that's right through the uh, uh, channel box so if I select this pipe and in the channel box here I'm just going to rename this uh, I'm just going to call it my pipe for something more you know inventive okay but then you can see that it's called my pipe in here so you can see that we can edit things and actually give them logical names and organize our scene now uh, it might be in your outliner, you've got lots of other things as well, lots of other objects as well. If you have, if you hit display and make sure that DAG objects only is selected, okay? And if I unselect that, you'll see there's lots of sort of hidden objects. I'm not going to go through those now, but those sort of background objects that we don't really need to look at at this stage. Uh, and we can just keep those hidden. So if you do see uh, lots of objects like this, just go into DAG objects only and you'll just see the main objects that, that are in your scene. Now we can also use this outline to organize your object. So for example, what I could do is I could say parent this sphere, um, sorry, parent this sphere or make this sphere a child of this pipe. Okay, so this pipe's a parent of the sphere. And I can do that by, I'm gonna, I'm gonna middle click my mouse and you can see that I can kind of reorganize my scene. And I'm gonna middle, in fact, if I just drag, yeah, I'm gonna middle click my mouse. You can see that I can actually drag this sphere, sphere and put it on top of another object. So I'm just going to go onto my object, uh, my pipe there. And you'll see that um, it looks like the sphere's disappeared, but it hasn't. If I click the plus icon here, you see that, that the sphere is underneath my pipe. Well, and that's what the parenting has done. Well, what does that actually mean? Well, I can still manipulate uh, my uh, uh, sphere here. But now when I select my pipe, whether I select it here or whether I select it in the chat in, in the outliner, um, I'm actually selecting both objects and I'm actually manipulating both objects. The same when I go to rotate and the same when I go to scale. OK, so this is a really good way of uh, if I'm doing, say, character modeling and I want a model to absolutely be kind of, you know, position itself or in. Uh, position and orientate itself in relation to another object and I want to keep that relationship that's a great way of doing it okay the key issue is I can always manipulate the uh, uh, sphere independently of the pipe but I can never manipulate the pipe independently of the sphere anything I do on this pipe will affect the sphere in terms of a, a, an object manipulation um, uh, so what I'm going to do, and then if I want to unparent that, what I can do is I can grab the sphere and then just, again, middle click, drag, and you can see that I can kind of drag it. Uh, you'll notice that I can drag it so it's like a single line rather than uh, a cube around an object. So if I do it so it's a single line, you can see it's dragged it and it's now uh, its own object again. So that's parenting. Another way of kind of joining objects together is something called grouping. So again, I'm going to select these two. And I'm going to combine them using a group now. So I'm going to go uh, edits, uh, group, or you can just go control G. And you'll see that what's happened is uh, both those objects have disappeared in our outliner. And all you can see is a group. And again, if you press, press, press the plus sign, you can see that we've got the, uh, we can see the objects again in here. And I can manipulate both those objects independently of each other by selecting them in the outline or just selecting them in the scene. If I just select them in the scene, they independently, they, they, they manipulate independently of each other. Uh, in order to manipulate them together, I've got to click the group. Okay. And I can only really access that group in the outline. I can't group, I can't access that group any other way. So this is where the outline sort of becomes useful. And again, I can name that group. I can go, uh, my objects. So I can name it into something useful. And again, I can move both those objects and uh, scale them 
So rotate them and scale them in relation to each other. So you can see that uh, grouping and parenting kind of behave slightly differently. Uh, the other thing I can also do with the group is I can also uh, take this pivot point and move the pivot point for the group uh, accordingly to, to how I want this uh, group to, uh, how I want the manipulations on this group to actually behave as well.